Standard 7th Subject Maths Chapter 8 Algebraic Expressions and Operations on Them Practice Set 35 Dear students, we have already studied the addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. Today, let's learn multiplication of algebraic expressions. So first, we will learn how to multiply a monomial by a monomial. Let's have a look at an example. 3x into 12y. Here you multiply the coefficients. 3 into 12 is 36. And now you multiply the variables. x into y is xy. So your final answer is 36xy. Another example. Minus 12x into 3y square. So as I mentioned, multiply the coefficients first. Minus 12 into 3 is minus 36. Don't forget to write the sign. And x into y square is xy square. x into y into y. So final answer minus 36 xy square. So what do we have to do? When multiplying two monomials, first multiply the coefficients along with the signs. Then multiply the variables. So, this is a simple method which we are going to follow. Now, how about multiplying a binomial by a monomial? You can see in the example 7x minus 6y is a binomial and it is multiplied by 3z which is a monomial. So, in such situation, you have to first take the first term from the bracket and multiply it with the monomial given outside. So 7x into 3z. Now you are left with minus 6y which is the second term in the bracket. So take it out. Minus 6y also multiply by 3z. So you have got your expression ready. Now in the second step you are going to multiply the coefficients of the first term together and then you are going to multiply the variables. So first term we have here is 7 into 3 21 xz. x into z is xz. Minus. Look at the second term. 6y into 3z is 6 3 is 18. Sign will be minus. Plus into minus is always minus. So minus 18 y into z is yz. So final answer you got is 21xz minus 18yz. This is how you will multiply a binomial by a monomial. From the bracket you will take out first term into the monomial which is given outside and then from bracket you will take the second term out along with the sign and then you will multiply with the monomial which is outside of the bracket. And accordingly you will solve. Next is multiplying a binomial by a binomial. So what do we have to do? Look at the example. There are two binomials which are to be multiplied. 3x plus 4y in bracket into 5x plus 7y. There is no sign of multiplication in between the brackets. But this brackets itself tell us. That it is to be multiplied. Okay. When even if there is no sign. It is understood it is multiplication. So. Now our first step will be to take out the x first term from the bracket out. 3x. And write down the next expression as it is next to it. In bracket. 5x plus 7y. Plus. 4y is taken out along with the sign plus 4y. And now it is written with the second expression 5x plus 7y which is in bracket again. So this is your first step. Just to break open the first expression and write it down with the second expression. Next step is just like what we learned while multiplying a binomial with a monomial. You can see 3x into 3x is a monomial and it is multiplied by a binomial here which is in bracket. 
सो टेक थ्री एक्स इंटू फाइव एक्स फर्स्ट प्लस थ्री एक्स इंटू सेवन वाई नेक्स्ट सेम थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डू विद द नेक्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन फोर वाई इंटू फाइव एक्स फर्स्ट प्लस अगेन फोर वाई इंटू सेवन वाई नेक्स्ट सो द आउटर आउटसाइड टर्म वॉट वी डू वी मल्टीप्लाइड विद द इनसाइड टर्म ऑल्टरनेटिवली विद द एडिशन साइन इन बिटवीन एज इट इज डोंट फर्गेट टू कैरी द साइंस ऑफ एडिशन आफ्टर टेकिंग आउट द टर्म्स नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू मल्टीप्लाई द कोफिशंस फर्स्ट सो लुक एट द फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन और द फर्स्ट टर्म थ्री एक्स इंटू फाइव एक्स थ्री इंटू फाइव इज फिफ्टीन एक्स इंटू एक्स इज एक्स स्क्वेर सो यू गॉट योर फर्स्ट टर्म एज फिफ्टीन एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस द प्लस साइन रिमेन्स इन बिटवीन नाउ वी मल्टीप्लाई द नेक्स्ट टर्म थ्री एक्स इंटू सेवन वन कोफिशंस फर्स्ट थ्री सेवन जै ट्वेंटी वन एक्स इंटू वाई इज एक्स वाई सो वी गॉट प्लस ट्वेंटी वन एक्स वाई प्लस द प्लस साइन राइट डाउन एज इट इज फोर वाई इंटू फाइव एक्स फोर फाइव जै ट्वेंटी एक्स इंटू वाई इज एक्स वाई Here it is y x, so you can arrange it and write as x y. So in multiplication, whether it's x y or y x, it's the same. Plus four into seven is twenty eight. Y into y is y square. So you got the fourth term as plus twenty eight y square. Now we will look out for any like terms if they are present in the given expression. So we can see the second and the third term is having the same variable xy so we can add them 21 xy plus 20 xy is 41 xy whereas the first term is having the variable x square and the last term is having y square so we cannot add them together so we keep them as it is so final answer is 15 x square plus 41 xy Plus twenty eight y square. So this is multiplying a binomial by a binomial. Now let us move on to practice set thirty five. In question number one, you have to multiply, and there are four sub questions. And question number two is a word problem. So let's start with one sum at a time. First one. Sixteen x y into eighteen x y. As per the rule, we will multiply the coefficients first, sixteen into eighteen, and later we will multiply the variables. So your final answer will be sixteen into eighteen. You will do the rough work, and you will get two hundred and eighty-eight. How many x we have? Two. So x square. And how many y? Two. So y square. So this is multiplying a monomial by another monomial. So here you don't have to open any bracket straight away. Multiply the coefficients, multiply the variables, and you get your answer. All right. Second sum. Again, we are multiplying a monomial by another monomial. So first, multiply the coefficients. Twenty-three into four is ninety-two. Now, you multiply the variables given x into y square into y into z square. X is just one, so we write as it is. Y, you can see y square into y will give you y cube. Okay, one more power is increased, so y raised to the power of three, and z raised to the power of two as it is. So this way, our final answer is ninety-two x y cube z square. Now. Moving to the third sum, twelve a plus seventeen b is the binomial which you have got into four c. So binomial has to be multiplied with a monomial. Let's see what we can do is we can take out one x term from the bracket and multiply it with the monomial four c. Then we can take out the other term from the bracket and multiply with four c. So how your expression will be? Let's see, twelve a into four c 
plus plus sign remains as it is plus 17b into 4c so each term from the bracket we are multiplying with 4c now the terms that you have got you multiply the coefficients and then the variables 12 fours are 48 a into c is ac 48 ac is your first term plus 17 fours are 68 b into c is bc so 68 bc is your second term so final answer 48 ac plus 68 bc all right Let's start with the fourth sum now. 4x plus 5y into 9x plus 7y. So now you have to multiply a binomial by another binomial. So step will be open only one bracket at a time. So we will open the first bracket. 4x into 9x plus 7y one side plus 5y into 9x plus 7y on the other side. Now we will open these brackets 4x into 9x plus again 4x into 7y plus sign remains 5y into 9x. So remember while opening brackets you multiply the terms 5y into 9x plus sign remains now again 5y into 7y. Once you got the expression ready you will start multiplying the coefficients and then the variables so let's start with the first four nines are 36 x into x is x square so the first term that you got is 36 x square plus four sevens are 28 x into y is x y so plus 28 x y next five nines are 45 sine is plus so plus 45 x into y is xy y into x or x into y you can write it as xy plus 7 fives are 35 y into y is y square now 36 x square has no like term to match with but 28 xy and 45 xy have like term so we add them 28 plus 45 is 73 xy plus 35 y square as it is so your final answer will be 36x square plus 73xy plus 35y square. So I hope you have followed this simple steps. Now we will move on to question number 2. A rectangle is 8x plus 5 cm long and 5x plus 3 cm broad. Find its area. So for this sum we should know what is the formula to find out the area of a rectangle can you recollect it yes the area of a rectangle we will see in the answer length of a rectangle is given breadth is given area of rectangle formula is length into breadth so we write the steps first you write the statements length of the rectangle is equal to 8x plus 5 centimeter remember to put the bracket Breadth of the rectangle is equal to, in bracket, 5x plus 3, close the bracket, centimeter. So, area of rectangle formula right now is equal to length into breadth. So, this is equal to 8x plus 5 into 5x plus 3. You have to write it in the bracket as shown. Now, this is multiplying a monomial, binomial by another binomial. So, follow the steps. Open the first bracket. And multiply it with second bracket. So we take out the first term from the first bracket. 8x outside. Multiply it with 5x plus 3. Plus we take out 5 outside. Multiply it with 5x plus 3. Now we are going to open this bracket. For the second term. Which is a binomial. So 8x into 5x. Plus 8x into 3. plus 5 into 5x plus 5 into 3 so now that you have opened the brackets let's solve coefficients we will multiply 8 fives are 40 40 x into x is x square 
plus 8 3s are 24, 24 x plus 5 5s are 25, 25 x plus 5 3s are 15. So you got the fourth step as 40x square plus 24x plus 25x plus 15. You will see that 24x plus 25x is a like term. So, we will add it. 24 plus 25 is 49x. So, your final answer is 40x square plus 49x plus 15. So, area of the rectangle is 40x square plus 49x plus 15 centimeter square. Centimeter into centimeter becomes centimeter square. Okay, so this way we have solved our practice set number 35. Do solve the sums in your book. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.